Do you feel something catching or locking in your joint? You might have a loose body. And no, it's not as strange as it sounds. Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Damber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. I specialize in non-surgical treatments for musculoskeletal conditions, rheumatology, regenerative medicine, and metabolic health. My goal is to help you live pain-free and optimize your health with cutting-edge treatments. Today, we're talking about loose bodies, tiny bits of bone or cartilage that break off and float around inside your joints. It might sound harmless, but these little fragments can cause big problems like joint pain, swelling, and even locking or catching when you move. So let's break it down. We'll talk about what are loose bodies, why do they happen, do they always need surgery, and how can you treat them with lower risk non-surgical options. So what are loose bodies? Think of your joint like a smooth moving machine. It has bones, cartilage, and fluid that help everything glide. But sometimes a small piece of cartilage or bone breaks off and floats around. This is called a loose body. It's kind of like having a pebble stuck in your shoe. It's small, but it can cause a lot of irritation. You might feel sudden sharp pain, a catching or popping sensation, joint locking, where you cannot fully straighten or bend the joint. Swelling or stiffness is the most common in the knee, the elbow, and ankle, but can happen to other joints too. There are a few main reasons why loose bodies form. To begin with osteoarthritis. As cartilage wears down, small pieces can break off. This is one of the most common causes of loose bodies. Second is injury or trauma. If you've had a fall, sprain, or joint injury, that impact can knock loose a piece of cartilage or bone. Next, you have osteochondritis desiccans. This is a condition where a small section of bone and cartilage loses its blood supply and can break off at times. And then post-surgically as well. Sometimes after a joint surgery, leftover fragments may become loose bodies. Usually these loose bodies are not dangerous, but they can be very annoying and disruptive to your daily life. So imagine your joint is like the inside of a watch, gears turning and moving smoothly. Now imagine a tiny piece of debris gets stuck between the gears. It doesn't destroy the whole watch, but it makes everything slower, more painful, and less predictable. That's what a loose body can do in your joint. Do loose bodies always need to be removed? It's a really good question. The short answer is not always, and here's a longer answer. If the loose body is small and not causing symptoms, we typically leave it alone. On the other hand, if it's causing catching, locking, or constant pain, then removal might be considered. Surgery is not the only option, and in many cases, we can manage symptoms non-surgically. This is where understanding the root cause becomes very important. If inflammation or instability is a real problem, treating that first can sometimes make a loose body a non-issue. So how are loose bodies diagnosed? Usually through an X-ray, these can show bone fragments, an MRI or CT scan is better at showing cartilage fragments and inflammation. Your history and physical exam is very key here. If you describe symptoms like locking or catching, or if you find that on examination, that's a really good clue that you may have a loose body. My clinic, we often combine imaging with ultrasound and physical testing to get a full picture of what's going on in your joint. Now let's talk about solutions because not everyone needs surgery. Most small loose bodies just get absorbed on their own. In those cases, you don't actually need surgery because they will dissolve on their own. Other options that you can consider, exercise and physical therapy, where you have strengthening the muscles around your joint can help reduce irritation from the loose body. If instability is a root cause, physical therapy helps support the joint better. Anti-inflammatory lifestyle can sometimes be helpful. Pain from a loose body is made worse by inflammation frequently. By reducing inflammation through diet, such as less sugar and processed food, Improved sleep, stress reduction, supplements like omega-3 or turmeric can help to reduce swelling and pain without medication. You then have regenerative injections. If pain persists, we'll frequently use regenerative medicine options like prolotherapy, where you inject natural substances to strengthen ligaments and reduce joint instability. Platelet-rich plasma or PRP, where you use your own blood platelets to reduce inflammation and improve joint health. And then there's also bone marrow concentrate stem cells for more advanced joint damage. Stem cells can help treat and stabilize the joint. 
These treatments don't necessarily remove the loose body, but they do reduce the symptoms and support the joint so the body can adapt better. So when is surgery needed? We would typically consider surgery if the loose body is large and physically blocking movement, such as you're getting significant catching or locking symptoms. And you've tried conservative care and symptoms are not improving. And again, you're losing range of motion or having that kind of daily joint locking. In those cases, arthroscopy, a minimally invasive surgery, can be done to remove the loose body. But remember, surgery always carries some risk, so we always explore safer, lower risk, non-surgical options first. Let's quickly touch on what I recommend avoiding. Cortisone injections will reduce pain quickly, but it's temporary and sometimes long-term they can also damage tissue. Also keep in mind that cortisone injections are not a longer term solution, so I really wouldn't use them too often. Another frequent type of injection, not necessarily for loose bodies, is radiofrequency ablation. This will basically kill the nerve. By doing that, it can reduce your pain. The problem is that it can damage the nerve and it doesn't fix the actual problem. And then of course, jumping straight to surgery without trying lower, lower risk options first. I'd always recommend, certainly here at Chicago Arthritis, our focus is always on healing and preserving the joint first before considering surgery and not just doing treatments that are masking the symptoms. Some key takeaways, let's wrap this up. Loose bodies are small pieces of bone or cartilage floating in your joint. They can cause pain, locking and catching, but don't always need surgery. The root cause is often inflammation, instability, or past trauma. Most people can improve with non-surgical treatments like exercise, anti-inflammatory care, time, and sometimes with drug medicine. Surgery should be your last resort and not your first step, but can be very useful if you're having significant locking symptoms. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our website at chicagoarthritis.com for more expert advice on staying pain-free and healthy. And if you're struggling with joint pain or stiffness, Give us a call or schedule a consultation. We're here to help you heal naturally. See you next time and live well.